so one of the most requested uh, questions about iPhone is how to backup photos and videos. So as always uh, iPhones are running out of space, the more you use it the, the less space remains and the question is where to store all these uh, photos and videos. So right now I will show you how easy it is and like my quick hack. So let, let's just take a photo of laptop. Boom, so I just uh, took a photo of my keyboard and I will just show you how easy it is and how exactly to do it and store all your photos on example of one photo. So then I go to my photos app, right? And I see my photo is here. But very often if you store your photos on uh, your photos app, it means they are still stored on your iPhone and they take space. So a possible solution to this could be using Google Photos. So you go to Google Photos and then what happens is your photo just was uh, backed up, right? So your photo was now transferred to Google Cloud and it's stored there, not, not on your phone. So this, this way you will actually save a lot of space on your iPhone and after your backup was complete, you can go back to uh, uh, iPhone photos and just delete it, delete this photo. So this photo was deleted, but if I go back to Google photos, I will see that it's stored here. So Google Photos uh, allows you to have unlimited space uh, storage for free. Yes, uh, it sounds right, but uh, it's only for like the best resolution uh, quality. If you want to have like original quality, I, I think it's only for if you're like professional photographer or mm, stuff like that, then, then you will need this option. But if you are just a regular person taking photos of your kids, I don't know, of pets, like the best quality photo will be totally enough for you yeah uh, after you did you did that of course yeah you can search you can go to albums you can share these photos uh, but also uh, you can go for example on on the, your laptop to photos.google.com if you are logged in in the same account uh, as on your phone and just get it photo or download this video so this, this way you can just transfer your photos or videos uh, between uh, iPhone and Mac. And uh, in my case, uh, it, it actually works. In, instead of like, instead of, I don't know, using Quartz and iTunes, especially if you have, for example, like uh, Windows laptop, but iPhone, and you want to transfer photos from your iPhone to Windows laptop, it's such a hassle because you always need to have iTunes on your Windows laptop. So instead of using uh, iTunes and I don't know, like yeah, you just can use this Google Photos app, upload photos on your Google Photos app, and then just go to photos.google.com website and download photos. So it works uh, exactly the same for videos. Uh, no matter how big your videos are, you can upload, upload, upload them on Google Photos and just get them back uh yeah from uh, from your laptop yeah so i hope this will help you just be careful with using 3g or cell, cell cellular doing this because yeah you, you can be charged a lot especially if you're uploading or downloading videos but you, you can change it in google photo settings yeah, so this way you can easily and really fast back up all your photos uh, on iphone and after that, you can actually delete photos from uh, from your iPhone, and uh, you will uh, have a lot of free storage on your phone. And uh, I, I actually regularly do that, so I just go and then delete all, all my iPhone photos. Uh, yeah, that's that's basically how it works. You have a lot of free space. You, you never care like, oh, I can take two or three photos, or I should take like two more three videos and that's it I have like 
one gigabyte left or stuff like that. So you just every time you back up to Google Photos and it's done, it's okay. So yeah, hope it will help you to back up your iPhone photos properly and see you around. Mm -hmm.